Right, it's amazing. Um, like you brought in more secret, secretness. More secretness, exactly. So we brought a, a dimension of secretness. It's quite crazy, you know, we, we can do that all the time. Why is it that we don't do it? You know, it's like, um, it would be easy. You didn't get any. You want some? Yeah, go and get some, some paint here. And you give her, you, you choose a mark. Give her a mark on her forehead. So this is really, really cool because suddenly we have a, a way of communicating which is no longer a language or it's something very specific. Right now we would go into the supermarket, you know, in safe way of would be rushing the space and people would go like, oh, who are these people? Are you part of a special sect or a tribe or something? They would notice that there is something in the energy that is different. So now we, we have a mark, it's great, <laughs> it's fantastic. So that you know, at the end of the session, what I do is that I don't just make marks on the body, I write Sanskrit, Sanskrit mantras. So I can give you, for instance, your player name and write it on you if you like. You want to say something? Yeah. Uh, why to use Sanskrit? So wh why you usually not? Yeah, Sanskrit on translate. Why, why use Sanskrit? Um, honestly, I don't even know. It's just a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> just I feel that when I'm using Sanskrit, it, uh, it taps into something which is uh, closer to me, yeah? I have heard that uh, Sanskrit is uh, it's an ancient language that, uh, that is, is uh, purposefully built. It, it didn't arrive by chance by people just trying to communicate with each other. It was purposely built to be a language. Yeah. So this is what is uh, in my experience as well. Is that I have been using Sanskrit for like 30 years, and uh, every time I use a word, for instance, the, the words that we used before, like Dariman, you know, I use Dariman, for me it sounds very different than you saying power. Power! Power! It's powerful as well, you know, if you write love or everywhere around in your house, of course it's going to reverberate and impact in your life. You will feel like, <sighs> you know, after a while, really in an ecstatic trance, just because you you have the word love. Now it's exactly what you're saying. In my experience, it feels like it goes into my subconscious mind and goes and taps and grabs a substance that was created or a mindset that was created like three to five thousand years ago and is there some some, somehow buried, silent, like ready to be activated. So the moment I go like Dariman or Anurakti or Jaya, which are all words of power, you know, I have about 30 life powers that I use so to activate different qualities. For instance, what is the quality you need the most right now? Uh, will. Will? Yeah. Willpower? Willpower, yeah. Willpower. Okay, so willpower would be precisely associated with the man. Because the moment you are, you know, it's like it, it triggers your conquering power. But it's not the only word. There is another word that I use for vision. Adikaranya, which triggers also your conquering power. Another quality that you need. Adikaranya, yeah. So if you have questions about Sanskrit, the words that I'm giving you here, everything is on my website. It's vitalcoaching.com. And uh, you go there, there is a page on Sanskrit. It's all in free access. You go and grab what you need. There are 30 life powers. There is explanations about the, 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 the calligraphy, about the script. You can go and tap into it anytime you want. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you can bring, bring them in. There are some on the on the floor over here, but maybe you can take them uh, uh, at the end. Courage, courage. Okay, so courage is as also associated with power. Uh, to have courage, you need to remove the fears. So the word that I use for uh, for removing fears is a word. Uh, it's uh, the word shimyu. Shimyu is also activating your fighting power. You know your ability to stand and defend yourself, defend your territory. So there are tons of words like that. For instance, what we are doing right now, uh, you know, everything that has to do with activation, energy techniques, doing all these things, raw food, uh, taking cold showers, there is a whole system that right now has been building for, for a good 30 years. You know, I started with uh, just taking some yoga poses and then I did some tantra and so on. And about, uh, about three months ago, I was in the Himalayas. I spent uh, a few weeks meditating in an ice cave and I had visits from very nice energies 
And uh, what I was doing before was vital coaching, okay? That's the Western body. But there is an Eastern body that is emerging, and this is called Rajaya Tantra. So everything that we are doing here, we can say that's a stream, that's a tradition, that's a, that's a lineage. And uh, it's not exclusive, you know, you can add whatever you want to this lineage. If it fits you, great, you know, this is free. Another thing which is specific to that, lingui to that, uh, to that uh, lineage is that we are all teachers. It's not me, I mean, right now I, I hold the microphone, that's okay, but, you know, I would spend uh, an hour with you, you would teach me as much as I teach you. It's, it's an exchange, it's a dynamic exchange. So I can go like, let me teach you. Sit down in, at my feet and I'm going to show you what life is about. I don't think that's the way it works. I think that we are all extremely wise. We all have the tools and some people have been working on them a little bit more than others. And I might have some tools, you might have other tools. I mean, uh, you know, every single person with who I would have a conversation here or take off on a trip for three weeks, it would be an exchange, a dyna dynamic exchange that goes on all the time. So that's the second element which is very important about the Rajaya Tantra. Uh, the third element is that there is no structure. <laughs> there is no organization. As far as I'm concerned, we don't need, we don't need one. It's, it's based on the instinct, intuition. You can trust yourself. Like I, I give you some tools, I fully trust you. I say, I empower you, you do what you want with them. I believe that your consciousness is going to guide you. I don't need to, to give you sets of, you know, do it like that or like this. Every technique that I give you here, you can reinvent it in your own way. It's just seeds. And it's, it's going to be way more powerful if it's your own expression. So there is space for improvisation. This is like a dance, the dance of life. All this art that we have here, it's beautiful. But I think that you're more beautiful than any art. Your life is the masterpiece. Your life is the masterpiece. Your life is the most beautiful thing you will ever create. Every single single second that you breathe, every single word that you speak, all the people that you meet, it's a canvas of beauty that leaves a blueprint in your existence. And uh, that's that's for me the real masterpiece. Trying to put it on print or on canvas or in a music form, it's like it's just a tiny fraction of who you are individually. That's the idea. How are you feeling? Great. Great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah.